Well, heat danger across Northern California is soaring tonight. Some areas seeing triple digits as well. We have team coverage for you on the impact of this heat wave. Dave's going to break down the numbers, but first let's go live to Cal Expo where CBS 13's Lamar Abrams is getting answers about how parents should protect their young ones on Kids Day. Lamar? Hey, Tony, Christina, the fair is hot, but the pavement, check this out, is broiling, measuring at 154 degrees right now. You know what my feet are doing? They're on fire. But uh, wait, check this out. Pediatricians say there is ways to seek relief, and that, too, can be fun. <laughs> if you thought the rides at the fair were cool, check out the full body misters. With the click of a button, you spray, you spin, you go. <laughs> These large Mr. Machines are scattered all over, but portable ones are just as popular. <laughs> it may take your little one's breath away, but mom says a little spray and a lot of homemade goodness does the trick. Lots of water and fruit, and we brought our own lunches. Now, the fair has plenty of interesting things to eat, but they let you bring your own food and water as long as it's sealed. This dad brought his own cooler strapped to his kid's wagon. You need water. Heat exhaustion and heat stroke can be especially scary for parents and dangerous for kids. And that can result in actual damage to, um, to, to the body's cells. UC Davis Pediatrics Professor Dean Blumberg says infants and toddlers are especially prone to heat illness. That's because they don't yet have the motor skills to regulate their temperature. So what do parents need to look for? Irritability is one. But sometimes, Blumberg says, the signs aren't so obvious. When the younger children get highly affected, then they won't be as responsive. So, so they'll, they'll um, look like they're in a coma, for example. The best way to prevent that, he says, hydrate throughout the day and listen to your children. She actually specifically will ask for water. And one more thing, you may be skeptical about trying salty fair food to avoid dehydration. Don't be. The increased salt intake could lead to increased fluid intake. That would be good to prevent dehydration. Well, there's that doctor, okay, you may have been looking for. And by the way, we also spoke to medics here. They tell me tonight there are zero heat related illnesses to report. Now, Tony and Christina, I'm going to hit up those misters. Right yeah. There. <laughs> and then that's your first stop. You. And then snow cone, maybe. That'd be good. <laughs> the more thanks.